Welcome to my channel. This right here is 2019 Fragner Cascadia, and this truck was making a very unusual problem, as you can see it now. Ahorita le va a estar para ver lo que hace. Dele más. Sí. Ahí está, está trabado. ¿Está el motor no? Pero marca códigos del estar. Bien, extraño. Ahí te ¿eh? Because the engine doesn't rotate at all. Um, the starter cannot rotate the engine left or right. Um, manually, we try to rotate the engine and it doesn't rotate, it locks itself, which is pretty weird. Um, it makes it look like something inside the engine is broken, something inside is not letting, releasing the movement of the engine. Uh, as we connect the DDL software, uh, the only codes we can pull out of this uh, truck are starter codes. Just a starter is not uh, engaging, it's not releasing, blah, blah, blah. Just starting codes from the comp engine computer. So as you know, as we uh, thought about, we had a problem with the starter. So we decided to remove the starter. In this case, the starter is right here. And um, we remove the starter, but the starter doesn't present any problems. The starter is totally fine, it's not broken, it's in one piece. Um, it tries to crank the engine, but it doesn't uh, accomplish that. It, it, is, it is not the starter the problem, but the computer thinks there is something wrong with the starter because this doesn't rotate. Uh, the computer is not able to sense rotation when the starter is working but anyway uh, there is no easy way to fix this problem or to know what is this uh, the cause of this problem so after researching and everything we kind of told them there was a problem or either with the engine or the transmission and after um, after going through it we decided to drain the transmission fluid and the transmission didn't have no fluid at all so make us thin then yeah the transmission has a problem so of course we had to uh remove the transmission which is that one there and uh and yes this is the reason why the engine doesn't rotate which is pretty weird but this is the reason so the transmission doesn't move and this movement that we have here that was the starter trying to rotate the engine but because the transmission is completely locked in one position it doesn't rotate um, it goes here and then goes back so that's all what the starter could do and uh, the reason why the transmission got destroyed is because it ran out of fluid um, um, it is a very unusual problem but it is here uh, you don't get that many problems like this like uh, the engine doesn't rotate but it's because of the transmission mostly when you get a problem then the engine doesn't rotate it's because the engine is bad but in this case we have the problem then the engine is okay but the transmission just it does, does is not working anymore it, it is a bad transmission um well solution to this problem we have to replace the transmission how cheap is to do this job it is not cheap at least we have to spend minimum five thousand dollars just to get a transmission and continuing on spending more money on all the components than we have to replace after uh, removing the transmission like clothes and stuff like that so at least this truck will be spending between five thousand all the way to ten thousand dollars including labor or probably more and that's just because the transmission ran off oil um, but uh, as you can see in this video I am giving you the demonstration of when your engine doesn't rotate that not only means that the engine is bad it could be that the transmission is bad and uh, not until you start inspecting things that is when you're going to know then yes the transmission is bad so the first thing 
when you get a problem then the engine doesn't rotate like if the engine doesn't move at all like it's completely stuck in one position probably the engine is bad but if the engine moves a tiny movement left or right and then it doesn't move probably this is the problem so all you do is drain the transmission fluid and if you don't have no transmission of the transmission comes in a very uh, silver color that means the transmission is destroyed but uh, it's just um, an explanation about this video then I thought it was going to be something interesting since um, I never see this problem before it's the first time I see a transmission that is locked in one position and then the engine doesn't work at all but in this case it makes sense because we have an automatic transmission so we are not able to press the clutch so the computer here doesn't have the ability to uh, to how we can say to release the pressure from the transmission so the only way uh, this computer will be able to um, apply the clutch is if we start the engine so it's not possible since we don't have the ability the clutch is completely in stuck in one position I mean the transmission is stuck in one position but anyway this is uh, a basic information I want to share with you uh, something that you have to uh, inspect if you have any problems so that way you have an idea what other things could be the reason why you have a problem with your engine or in general if you don't have any oil on, on your transmission what will be the reason or what will be the consequences for running out of oil on the transmission so um, well I hope you find this video informative and if you have more information to add to this video just comment below and there you can uh, share more information if you have any experiences also you can find me on instagram like francisco maya youtube just type that in your instagram search and then you can find me um, like the video share it subscribe and thank you for watching